In the first video of this series, I talked about the fact that if you want to be a hit songwriter, you've got to have some talent. The next quality I want to talk about that is absolutely essential if you want success is you have to have a really strong work ethic. I mean, there's a huge surplus of talented writers, and if you ask anybody in the music business, they'll tell you the people who get the farthest are the ones who work the hardest. One of the things you have to work really hard on is making every song you write be as good as it can possibly be. Tom Shapiro is a Nashville songwriter who's had 17 number one songs, and I heard him say once, the difference between a really good song and the one that's going to make you a lot of money is the last 5%. And I took that to mean you've got to examine your songs really closely, and if you see even the slightest weakness, you've got to fix it. If a line can be better, make it better. If there's a spot in the melody where it's losing energy, you've got to rewrite it. With all the competition there is out there right now, good enough is not good enough. It has to be great. And another thing you have to work really hard on is writing as many songs as you possibly can. You see, an artist doesn't cut a song just because it's a great song. It has to be a perfect fit for that artist. I mean, these guys have to go out and sell these songs night after night to thousands of their fans. And in order to do that, they have to feel 100% connected with these songs. So great songs get rejected for all kinds of reasons, like, oh, I'm just not feeling that groove, or, well, I don't think I'd really say that, or even something as trivial as, well, they're talking about partying at the lake, but we always used to party at the river. So the more songs you have, the better shot you have at one of them being the perfect song for an artist who's looking. Some songwriters say to me, well, I have to be inspired in order to write a song. But that's not how hit writers do it. They show up and write every day whether they're feeling it or not. And there's a couple good reasons for doing that. One is, it's good practice. Rusty Gaston is a really successful publisher and at one of my workshops he used the analogy of a basketball player. He said, a basketball player will run the drills so many times in practice, do them over and over until making those shots becomes part of his muscle memory. So when he's out on the court, he's not thinking about the technique, he's just looking for an opening. And when he sees the opening, the muscle memory takes over and he makes the shot. Now Rusty says that for a songwriter, that opening is the great idea. And hit songwriters have written so many songs that how to put them together, how to craft them, that's just second nature to them. So once they get that great idea, they know exactly what to do to bring it to life. Another reason to write, whether you're inspired or not, is that sometimes the hard work leads you to the inspiration. You know, you may be sitting there trying to come up with something, plodding away, you're not feeling it, and then all of a sudden you or one of your co-writers strings a few words together that really just get to the heart of the matter. Or maybe somebody creates a little fragment of a melody that has exactly the right emotion and it's beautiful and powerful, and then that becomes the inspiration that drives the rest of the song but you wouldn't have found that inspiration if you weren't sitting there working hard. Now there's a popular saying these days that I see all the time, oh, if you love what you're doing, it's not really work. Yeah, okay, you know, when you're deep into a great idea and everything's flowing and you love what you're coming up with, that's pure joy. But it's not going to be like that all the time, or probably even most of the time. So, no matter what's going on in the writing room, no matter what's going on in your career, no matter what's going on in your life, you have to be willing to push yourself to work hard and keep moving forward. Because if you're not, you're going to be eating the dust of the people who are.